Yeah, and I think one final reason why open water swimming may be uh, gaining popularity, uh, and, and, and in the case of Joe, you know, as we get older, Joe used to run a lot, and you know, as as our aging population gets up there in years, uh, you know, open water swimming is less stressful on the joints, but it affords a you know great opportunity to keep fit and uh, stay in shape. Yeah, yeah. And, and talking about staying in shape, um, where do you both see open water swimming going in, in 10 years, 20 years, 100 years from now? Listen to two men who have helped safely escort tens of thousands of open water swimmers to and from Alcatraz Island in San Francisco, California. The co-founders of the Alcatraz Challenge recently wrote a classic book called Lessons from Alcatraz. They provide insights, stories, and safeguards for swimming to and from the iconic island prison and now favorite tourist landmark. The dynamic aquapreneurs not only ply their trade in view of the majestic Golden Gate Bridge, but also around the world, from the Bering Strait to the Caribbean Sea. The numbers associated with the duo are mind-boggling. Joe has led over 30,000 swimmers from Alcatraz since 1981, and Gary has made nearly 750 Alcatraz Island swims, all meticulously detailed, chartered, and described. Their informative interview about swimming in the cold waters of San Francisco is sure to educate and entertain. Open Water Wednesday welcomes Gary and Joe, who, though they are constantly busy in retirement, split their time between being swimmers, endurance athletes, escorts, aquapreneurs, authors, race directors, and adventurers. Good morning. We're here at Open Water Wednesday with two very well-known individuals in the San Francisco area. I'm going to allow them to introduce themselves as they are on two different parts of our continent. Uh, Gary and Joe, if you could introduce yourselves to our audience. Joe, go ahead. Gary, go ahead. Okay. This... <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll take it. I'm sitting in the sun in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, enjoying the beautiful weather here, having escaped my home uh, with the cold and ice of uh, Portland, Oregon. I'll be getting on a ship in a couple of days and sailing for places south. Gary? You make me jealous, Joe. And this is Gary Emick, and I'm sitting in um, the lovely coastside city of Pacifica, which is immediately south of San Francisco, and it's damp and chilly. <laughs> well, uh, both of you actually uh, are uh, renowned because you've, you've both been at the epicenter of uh, one of the world's greatest centers of excellence in open water swimming, and that is actually San Francisco Bay, where years Years ago, back in the early 80s, from what I understand, uh, Joe, you actually begged 13 people to uh, go out to Alcatraz Island and swim to Aquatic Park with you. Is that correct? That is correct. I had just come back from doing the uh, Ironman Triathlon, one of the very earliest Ironman Triathlons in Hawaii, and I said, hey, San Francisco should have something like that, but more geared towards swimmers. The swim, the swim, the longer at, uh, in Hawaii is, uh, oh, it's a piece of cake. The Alcatraz swim is uh, much more iffy and it requires a lot more in the way of uh, knowledge of the water. So, uh, so yeah, 1981, uh, I had to beg 13 of my friends to give, uh, to give triathlon a chance in, in the city of San Francisco, San wow. Francisco Bay in particular. Wow, and and now you've taken those thir those thirteen people have turned into uh, how many events, Gary? There are currently eight commercial Alcatraz events every year, and there's probably at least five thousand people that make the crossing every year. So it it's just cannonballed over the years. Yeah, say that again. And you both of you have taken your passion for endurance sports and and open water swimming in particular and actually made it a mini industry over there in uh, San Francisco Bay and elsewhere. Um, can you explain a little bit about what you both do? 
Well, I think Joe is the the original what I call aquapreneur, not an entrepreneur, but an aquapreneur. And uh, when I retired from my real job, I figured I had to do something for the next 30 years. So I have just uh, gone after my passion and I got certified as a USA triathlon coach and also an ASCA coach. Uh, I write an occasional article for uh, USA Triathlon Magazine and, and before Inside Triathlon Magazine. Uh, Joe and I both have been putting on Alcatraz races for years, but I think we're both sort of getting out of that business. But I also put on some events for new two nonprofits, uh, Swim Across America and Baykeeper. Uh, put out an open water swimming DVD a couple of years ago. I do uh, private Alcatraz crossings because not everybody around the world can always, uh, you know, get here for the eight commercial events. So my wife keeps telling me I need to retire from my retirement. <laughs> and Joe? Yeah, the same is true. Same is true here. Uh, I've, I've been retired for a while. I'm, uh, I'm in my late 70s, and I kind of picked up this Alcatraz thing not as a way to make money because if you had to make a living at this, you might as well work at a minimum wage job. But uh, I, I do it because I love it. Uh, this will be my last year. Uh, actually, last year was my last year as, as a swim director for several events in the San Francisco area. And I've, uh, I have trained and brought a new person to take my place as swim director. And I can do more fooling around all over the world. I love to swim. And this year, starting on the 5th, actually, I'll be leaving here. I'll probably swim in 30 different countries. Wow.